Good morning, everyone. Hey, Brian Neff here with Stop Being Sold. And in today's video, this is a common request that we get is help me understand what's in my brokerage account statement. So today's video, we're going to cover some of the key parts of what's inside a brokerage account statement. First of all, I'm going to send this link down below the video for you. And I'm using investor.gov. And there's a great section on there that goes step-by-step step through the understanding your brokerage statement. And um, take a look at this. And there's it's broken into six different sections, but let's go over this together. This way, I don't use a statement from a firm like the, the major Wall Street brokerage accounts. I'd rather use something that's going to be educational. And in that way, we're not um, under any... Um, uh, you know, thinking that we're showing a brokerage account that we want you to do business with. So let's keep it neutral and let's go over a brokerage account statement. You'll see all these common things in a, in your normal statement when you open it up. So uh, before we get started, though, if you like the content in this video or you got questions or you would like a video made, put your comments down below the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get started, folks. So. On this page here is a normal brokerage account statement. Now it's got all the pictures out of it and everything, but this way we can go over it. Some common things that you're gonna see inside your brokerage statement is, over here on the left, is the broker. Who is the broker, okay? Who is your advisor that set up this account for you? And uh, this may be, traditionally you might see the big name Wall Street firm here, and then below that, you'll see your name and address. Always make sure that information is correct because you won't receive statements if you've moved um, unless you have a foreign address. You need to contact your brokerage and make sure that they've got your correct address at all times. Also down below here, you'll also see who is your actual financial advisor for that firm. And make sure this information is always correct and the phone number is there, email address, so you can get hold of them at any given time. Now, when you do get a statement, the statement's always going to show the period ending. So when was this period, um, this whole statement talks about what period? Was it a monthly period, uh, maybe a quarterly statement? It'll show what happened transpired during that last Time frame. So this one says ending January 31st. So it looks like it's the whole month of January. Okay. And then it's going to break down what your asset value is. How much do you have in cash? This, this uh, account here, this fake account has 30,000 in it. Assets held at Acme Brokers, 45,000. Other assets hold not at the brokerage. You'll see this sometimes, especially if there's like insurance products or something like that that are held at a different firm. So total value is 100,000, total value as of January 1st was 125,000, okay? So where'd the 25,000 go? It looks like the 25,000 may have went to this outside firm. So look for stuff like that inside there. Also, you'll see a section that says primary investment objective. Your primary investment objective in this account is income. So someone's creating, has this account that's taking income off of it. That's the primary objective, okay? Now, let's go to page two. Page two, and sometimes you might see this on the front page. Just depends on the brokerage account and see how much stuff they stick on the front. Again, you'll have the statement period, January 1st to January 31st. You'll have this pie chart of where your assets are. And look, we, we talked about the cash at 30,000, equities and options, 5,000, fixed income, 15,000, mutual funds, 25,000, investments held outside of this brokerage account, 25,000 for a total of 100,000, okay? And a pie chart will break down them exact amounts for you. Okay, <clears throat> here it says investments held outside. Okay, there it is, it says 25,000 held outside, but your total account value, including the outside investments, is 125,000. Now, over here, um, since this account was set up for income, you'll see an earnings summary. 
So based on your account today, where it's invested at today, they're estimating that your annual income is $7,500 from this account. And it also show your purchasing power. Your purchasing power is how much you got in available cash that if today you were to invest into something, what could you invest into? Next section. This breaks down the actual statement by period again, where it was, cash value of purchases and sales, investments, uh, deposits, dividends, interest, also the fees, you always see the fees in there. Uh, transfers in, income reinvested, change in account value. So if the, if the value of the investments went down, you'll see parentheses around this like you do right here. So this was down $1,000 last month. So, and you'll see over here, you'll see a little pie chart that shows account value over the last 12 months where this account is going. Now, this account is in a slow, steady decline. But remember, in the beginning and on, the, on that very front page, it said this account was designed for income. Well, when income's coming out, naturally, by default, the account's going to go lower. But it's staying pretty steady, though, over the last 12 months. So that shows your investments are kicking off an income and it's only slowly depleting your principal. So that's what that means so far. Again, how is your assets allocated? There's an overview of it, the market value of each asset and the percentage of account assets in the whatever your allocations are. So like money market, 30% money market, 5% in equities, 25% mutual funds, Fixed income, 15%. Again, the 25%, uh, the 25,000 outside assets for, an, uh, for a total of 100% 100, 100 of your portfolio. This is the stuff you want to see inside your statement. Now, you'll see a section on here on this next page. We're talking about transaction details. Okay, this is what happened. Anything that transacted during the month. So, January 1st, you received $10 interest. January 10th, you received $3,990 in dividends. But on January 31st, you sold ABC Mutual Fund. The transaction cost, your fee was $10. You sold 1,000 of them for $2,801. Your cost basis was $25,000. That's what the cost basis is what you originally paid for that product. $28,000 net minus the $10 transaction cost. So it broke down what actually happened during the period for you. Always check this because if you don't know that stuff's going on inside your portfolio and what the broker's doing, this is where you will see that information. And then you can always pick up the phone and say, hey, um, I see these mutual funds were sold during this time frame. Why were they sold? Does that meet my objective of income? And where did the funds go after that? So always check up on your accounts on a, whenever you get them statements, read through them, watch this video and ask questions. Okay, uh, next page, you'll see a section talked about account summary and holding summary. We, we've already seen a lot of this talking about the income that received, proceeds from the sales. Now, see this proceeds of 28,000. Um, also down here, it shows withdrawals of 20, 28,000. Well, let's see if we can see where the funds actually went to. As we keep going through here, you got your cash equivalent, dividends, um, short-term gains, long-term gains, uh, $3,000, 3,000, long-term gains of 5,000. So this account's doing uh, performing pretty well up to what the guidelines were. Disclosures. You'll, the last, and I will say, it, it could be the last five, six, seven, eight pages of your statement. The majority of it's going to be disclosures. And it, and it gives you the breakdown of any errors, uh, what our fees are, what your investment objectives, risks are. And, and look, most people will never read this page because it's, most of it's written by an attorney, uh, more to protect the um, investment firm. These are the disclosures that every firm must disclose. So if you see a statement without all these, eh, it's usually a good sign that they're not disclosing what they should be disclosing because this is normal with any brokerage account statement that you receive is 
a breakdown of all the disclosures. Also, you also see sometimes um, like changes in value, account summary. These are all the key words that were highlighted in sections. This is an explanation of each one of them, kind of like what we just went through on this video. This explains each section, the value of the account, what the income summary is, what your cost basis was. These are all just normal definitions that you need to know, um, just have a brief understanding of what each of these are. And in that way, you can understand your statements a little bit better. But anyways, folks, that is how you read your statement and that covers today's video again make sure you drop your information below if you would like um you got questions on what another type of statement you want us to read um or any questions at all in the finance space drop that information below in the comment section and we'll try to make a video for it anyways folks have a great day